My name is Tina. I've been training here since about June or July. Well, we're training specifically for the FBI exam, so I have to do sit-ups, 300 meter sprints, push-ups, and then a mile and a half run. And it's all based on the scoring scale, so we're totally focusing on passing that exam. And we're working totally on sprinting, long distance running, uh, push-ups and sit-ups. So, that does give us a full body workout, but we're completely focusing on passing that exam. Just got a little, little thumb. Gotta keep the hands flexible. My name is Tamika Estrella. I play for the San Diego Seduction, LFL. I'm number two, and I am the starting cornerback, cornerback and running back. Been training since March uh, with my trainer, Michael Williams, at the Hurt Locker at Balboa Stadium. Training is off the hook, work on strength, performance, speed, um, everything to make me the best cornerback in the league. My name is Adam Lacey. I'm a junior at San Diego High School. Basketball is a great sport. It means a lot to me. I've been playing it since I was six years old, and I just loved it ever since. I'm at the Hurt Locker right after school, four times a week for two hours, and I'm just working hard. This is what we do. We train till the wheels fall off. Michael Williams, performance trainer, www.thewheeltotrain.com, San Diego, California. What I did was I you know, started off personal training um, at this one facility. And, um, you know, I just, you know, more so, you know, want to take a notch up from personal training, you know, more get into more, you know, personal performance training, you know, I would say. Um, pretty much, you know, my guys range from your everyday, you know, average, you know, folks that want to, you know, get in shape, look good, you know, um, to, um, like, like Tamika, you know, professional athletes who just pretty much want to dominate in their, in their field, you know. Um, how I got into it, um, basically it's been with me all my life, you know, um, training. You know, I, I come from the, you know, generation of, you know, knowing, knowing what it means to train, to dominate, you know, knowing what it means to put in six hours a day to make sure that you're one of the best out there, you know. Um, you know, you don't have to be a professional athlete or, or top, you know, uh, physical performer to train with me. Like I said, I can train them from the soccer moms to the um, to the hot moms to the you know to the beginner athlete to the advanced athlete. You know. So today's training consisted of some hurt locker specialties. We put it down here at the hurt locker. Um, try to try to do things that you ain't never gonna see anybody else do anywhere. Stadium training, flipping the tires, getting the bad boys all the way up the stairs, aggression, power, strength. Um, we did ropes, power ropes, all the way up the stadium stairs. Muscle ropes, crazy stuff. You ain't never see anyone do stuff like that. And finally, this one tops them all. Hurt Locker specialty, Hurt Locker exclusive with the jugs. Who does the jugs at the bottom of the stairs? Me, power stepping all the way up the stairs, catching it mid stride and shooting it all the way up. Never seen it done. 
My parents and my family, they make sure I'm in the gym a lot and working out four, four days a week, two hours a day. And I put up 4,000 shots a week. Well, Coach Mike's been having me on the burner max and it's really been helping me a lot. I've been jumping a lot higher and the weightlifting part has been tremendous. I've been finishing at the basket more and it's, I feel stronger on the court. Timing is very convenient. He always works with me, he always says I can always get it in no matter what, which is wonderful for me because I will always try to make any excuse as to why I can't come here. Um, he will say if we have to train at 9 o'clock at night, then that's fine. If I have to train at 6 o'clock in the morning, then that's fine. Whatever I have to do, I can train in the middle of the day, we can go to a, a gym if we have to, we can do whatever, but he always says that there's no excuse for us to not get it in. So that's been really nice that I will have that consistency because he pushes me to do that. I embody the training, you know, within my clients because I, I want the best for them. I want them to know, like, the training is working. I want them to know that that the whole mental aspect to being here at the Hurt Locker, that it's, it's, it's working. And as a trainer, you, you know, you want the best from the people that you train, you know, like I said, it's like, um, you know, you're living it through them. You know, when Tamika play, I'm playing. You know, when um, when she's not performing, I feel like I'm not training her enough um, for her to perform. You know, and and, and that goes from from my high from my high school all stars. You know, e even to um, you know my average Joe. You know, train. I mean, I'm sorry, my average Joe clients, you know, my, um, my, you know, my, um, my average, my average clients that's not professional athletes, that's everyday, you know, working people, you know, if they're not getting their results that they want, you know, I feel like I'm not doing my job. So if Tamika's not out there performing, um, to that high standard, I feel like I'm not doing my job. So, so yes, it, I, I embody the training, you know, within my clients, because I, I want the best for them. I want them to know, like, the training is working. I want them to know that that the whole mental aspect to being here at the Hurt Locker, that it's, it's, it's working. Well, this is my second season playing football. I played in a different league six, seven years ago, actually. Um, and uh, when I got on the team, I knew I'd be one of the smaller girls. Um, and coach asked me to put on about 10, 20 pounds. So um, being an athlete, I did four years of collegiate track and field. I knew I had to get a good workout in and that going to the gym wasn't going to be good enough. Um, and I like to train for specificity, so uh, the Heart Locker has drug machines, they have sugs, they have everything that you would ever need uh, to increase your performance, and I can definitely tell d the difference between training with Michael Williams. He's been awesome. I've only been with him for about a week, but uh, he's had me on the jugs and uh, improved my hands so that I can be one of the best receivers out there and get in the safety position as well. I've learned a lot. The from anywhere from stretching to technique of how to catch the ball and sprinting and strength and <laughs> how to be able to uh, make that first starting position. This is my first year playing, so. Um, my speed has increased, my strength, overall performance, especially in the football field, it's geared towards playing a sport, so he definitely got me ready for it. I mean, it's been amazing. It, within three months, I noticed I was faster, I was stronger, I was a better athlete. I didn't think that was possible.